Before beginning the recharge of a hydraulic lift system, obtain the following supplies and tools. A utility knife, 7 16 inch wrench, stubby Phillips screwdriver, shop towels, cordless drill with number two Phillips driver, and a recharge kit, which includes extra hydraulic line, extra compression fittings and ferrules, a bottle of hydraulic oil, a filling bottle with needle tip, and instructions. Unless a hydraulic line or fitting has been damaged, you will not need the extra line and compression fittings and ferrules. The first step is to fill the smaller bottle about half full with hydraulic fluid and secure the needle tip. Before beginning any work, make sure the power cord is not plugged into the wall. Also, follow all safe lifting practices and make sure work area is free from spills and or debris. Using the cordless drill, remove the back panel of the unit to expose the blower and lift system. After the back lower panel is removed, you will see the lift system housing sitting on top of the plenum. Take care to remove any wire ties that hold electrical wires or hydraulic lines to the plenum. Three screws hold the lift system housing to the top of the plenum. All three are easily accessible from the back side. Start with the first screw by the end where the four hydraulic lines exit the housing. Gently move electrical wires and hydraulic lines as necessary and remove the two final screws which are located on the large plate supporting the lift system motor. Retain all hardware for reinstallation after repair is complete. Rest electrical wires and hydraulic lines carefully along the face of the plenum as you begin to slide the lift system housing out of the unit. The system may have to be shifted to the left to clear the plenum bracket along the side of the unit. Stop the lift system housing at the plenum edge to disconnect the control cable. The control cable connects to the head of the lift system motor with an ethernet style plug. Remove it and ensure the cable and connector are not damaged. Use a folded up towel or other soft material to cushion the head of the lift system as it is set on the floor. The foam packaging that comes with the recharge kit makes a good cushion for this step. Pay close attention to the end of the lift system housing with the four hydraulic lines protruding. Do not pinch or crimp these lines while setting the system on the floor. Make sure the lift system housing is exactly vertical so air bubbles will rise to the top by the compression fittings. This is very important. Next, identify the hydraulic line that runs to the leg with the problem, which is most commonly a leg lagging behind when the lift is raised. There is a clear shrink wrap film around each brass compression fitting. Use the utility knife to remove it. Remove the compression nut with the 7 16 inch wrench. Take the fitting and hydraulic line off of the housing. Because the system is closed, oil will not leak out of the open end of the line. Insert the needle tip deep into the fitting opening on the housing. You must keep the needle completely inserted while adding fluid in order to get past a safety valve. Depending on the amount of fluid loss, the cylinder may take anywhere from a few dozen milliliters to several hundred milliliters of replacement fluid. This cylinder needed about 75 mils of fluid. You may see air bubbles rising and popping from the cylinder fitting. This is normal while filling the cylinder with fluid. Fill until oil spills over the fitting opening. Very gently continue to squeeze hydraulic oil into the cylinder while pulling the needle out. 
Make sure no air is introduced into the cylinder while removing the needle. Just before removing the needle completely, dome a bit of oil on top of the open fitting. Replace the hydraulic line fitting on the now recharged cylinder. Tighten the compression nut and wipe away any excess fluid. Do not over tighten the nut. One quarter turn after finger tight is maximum. You may have to repeat these steps of adding fluid to the cylinder after running the lift system up and down, which moves air back into the lift system housing reservoir cylinders. Raise the lift system housing off the floor and rest on your legs while seated in a comfortable position. Reconnect the lift system control cable. The cable plugs into the head of the lift system motor. Be careful to get the plug oriented properly and do not pinch or otherwise damage the plug or cable. Plug the unit back into a wall outlet and turn the power switch to the on position. Go into the lift system menu from the main menu. Run the lift all the way up and then all the way back down. This will take several minutes. After this, raise the lift again from the lowest position, and if the problem has not been fixed, repeat the recharge steps to add more fluid to the low cylinder. After problem has been resolved, replace the lift system housing, all hardware, and other components removed during the repair. Take special care not to crimp or pinch hydraulic lines during reassembly.